Hey, welcome back to Apollo XYZ episode 2. Today we're going to talk about a motherboard. This board is classified as being somewhere between high-end and mid-range. I'm talking about Gigabyte's B450 Arch Elite motherboard. So without further ado, let's go! Before you buy anything, especially nowadays, it is highly recommended to at least check their website if there's any. So here's gigabyte.com just to give you some information. This motherboard supports AMD Ryzen from 1000 to 3, 4, 5000 series, 1st, 2nd and 3rd generation. It has dual channel NAND ECC unbuffered, DDR4, 4 slots of DIMMs or the RAM slots. We're gonna have HDMI DVI-D ports for multiple display. Integrated input and output shield of ultra durable design. Dual ultra fast NVMe PCIe Gen 3 M.2 with one thermal guard. High quality audio capacitors and audio noise card with LED trace path lighting. RGB Fusion 2.0 with multi zone LED light show design. Supports digital LED and RGB LED strips. Gigabyte exclusive 8118 gaming LAN with bandwidth management. Smart fan, 5 features, 6 temperature sensors, and 4 hybrid fan headers with fan stop. App center, including easy tune and cloud station utilities. CEC 2019 ready, or California's new emission standards for electrical efficiency. Save power with a simple click. Wait, there's more! Let's proceed to the main board. So, from the left side, we're gonna have DVI-Z. HDMI, USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A, Gigabyte Gaming LAN with bandwidth management, audio noise card, 8 channel HD audio, high end audio capacitors. This is a very good deal, not just for gamers, but also for people that record high quality audio. I'm talking about sound engineers and musicians who use any kinds of DAO. With this feature, they can take full advantage of recording very high quality audio. Moving on, we have RGB Fusion 2.0, SATA 3 connectors, two slots of M.2 connectors with one free thermal card, solid pin connectors. This port is dedicated for AMD Ryzen series. There are also Gigabyte boards made just for Intel. It has dual channel DDR4 for DIMMs, that means 4 slots up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. And last but not least, it has hybrid digital PWM design. Now let's proceed to unboxing. Inside the box, we're gonna have two SATA connectors. Drivers, if you prefer offline installations. Screws. Comes with a sticker. Paperwork where you'll find a bunch of infos including on how to use the BIOS. If you want to see that one, please comment down below. In the actual motherboard. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Thanks!